Hey everybody, this is TT Angie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start putting things together. Um, I know it's taken a long time, but here we are. Um, if you recall, I made the masa and I had it put away. And what I did was I stored it in this baggie um, until I was ready to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and take this masa out of the bag and I'm going to put it in here. What you're seeing in this bowl is the juice that I took out of my meat. Uh, if you watch the meat video on the filling for um, my pasteles, mm -hmm. what you will see is that I had this meat that I created the filling. Um, that filling is still in, that, in the same pot because I put it in the fridge. But before I did that, I went ahead and put the juices and I drained them into this bowl here. And so now I made the masa and now we're ready to incorporate everything. So what I'm doing is taking the bowl, it's also been in the refrigerator with the meat that has the juices from my filling, my meat filling. And now I am adding in, this is messy by the way. I am adding in the masa, which I made the other day. So this is where all your flavor is at. This is where your color is at. This is where everything is at. And so you really want to get that in there. It makes it really good. There is no faster way to do this, honestly. This is, you're looking at it. Um, so you just gotta be patient with it. And I'm not pre-mixing. I'm literally doing it right here. This kind of just shows you what you want. You want it to, to incorporate into this. I literally don't know a better way to do it. <laughs> I guess you could stick your hands in there and really get in there, but this is gonna have to work for now. All right. Now my mom told me I also have to put some sasong in there. Um, so I will be doing that. Um, what I have over here is oil and anoto, little tiny seeds, anoto seeds. And what they do is they'll give it the color. What I'm going to use this for is to put on my leaf that you just, if you watched my previous video, you saw me prepping my leaves. Um, and what that will do is make sure that everything doesn't kind of stick to the leaf. You're able to get everything out, and it also adds color. Um, so that's what that is. Oh, it's, it is messy, but it's so delicious. Worth every penny of it, every minute that you spend trying to get this all squared away. It's worth it. I'm gonna be honest, if you watch all these videos, you'll know it's a process. Um, so, we only do this once a year, now you know why. And I'm gonna be honest, now I know why, because I would just be like, oh, mom, I want a pastela, you got any in there? Oh yeah, let me have like 10. And you know, now I know it takes a lot to make 10. It really does. My mom is very meticulous. She will take the day off, you know, because she's retired, but she takes the time to really do this. It's a long process, but she did like I do. She'll start the day before, she'll start with the meat, getting that ready, and the masa, getting that ready. And everything's ready to go, and then all she has to do, um, oh, and prepping these leaves. This is probably, she said, the most, um, it takes the most time is prepping these leaves. She's right, these leaves, you know, it takes a while to get everything ready. But once you do, putting them together, it doesn't take that long. All right. Now, ooh, that's going in pretty good. Mommy La Masa, you wanna look at this? Taste it. Taste it? It's yeah. cold. You have to. I have to taste it. You have to put salt in it. Oh, okay. Don't forget. I gotta put salt in it, so I gotta taste it. <laughs> Just, let me get a, full, a spoon here. It's not gonna hurt you, they're just vegetables. 
It's smooth though. So Sasong is very potent. My mom is right, don't overdo it. So I'm not gonna overdo it because it is hard to unsalt. You can always add salt, but you cannot remove salt. And if you remove salt, you will be removing the flavor. Whee! This is really making my arm work. So you see this gel stuff right here? This is actually the meat flavor. Um, you would use that for some good gravy right there. That is some good gravy. And so that's some good stuff. It's like an orangey color. Yeah, it's like mahachote. Mahachote. Un poquito chote. It's right here. Oh, that salt is good though. It's good now? Oh yeah. I think it's so. real, real, real good so all the master gets it. Okay, I'm just, I am mixing, mixing, yeah. mixing. So you want me to put some more of this? There, a little bit of that. So this is the oil. It's an orangey color. It's got the anote seeds in there. I'm just gonna pour what just this. What is it called in English? I don't know. I just call it a, a chote. All right, is that good? Un poquito más. No, yo no sé. Let me see. Es un ching ching. Échale un poco, chote, un poco más. Okay. One of the seeds, though. You got the seeds in there, didn't you? I sure did, Mom. I'm just going to pull it out because this is a clean hand. I know. It's tough, Mom. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is very hard. There you go. I don't have to get the seeds. I'm trying to. So what my mom's trying to tell me is that don't put the seeds in there, even though they're all over it. It is very difficult to not get the seeds. I guess I'm going to go to the middle and then move my my ladle and try and grab some of this oil without the seeds. Oh yeah, that's working way better. One, I see. See, it's a lot of masa. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of this. My mom's telling me to put some of this oil in here. There you go. Ooh, and I'm gonna put That's this it. right see. here. Oh yeah. This is really giving me a good workout. Oh yeah. You know, I've seen you mix this, Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've seen you mix this. Mm -hmm. I have a, a great deal of more respect for you. And, um, because I've seen you do this and it takes a long time. Um, so, there you go. This is a lot of work, guys. It's taking me days. My mom will be the first to tell you. It's taking me a lot of days mm -hmm. to get this done. All right. I think it looks pretty well mixed. No hay nada de aceite or nada más. Is that good? Yeah. How it tastes? Is it to your taste? Does it need a little more salt or what? A little bit more. Oh, we'll do it. <laughs> My mom thinks I put too much salt. But we're going to boil one up to try it, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we have to boil it in, like, salted water. Let's see. A little bit of salt. Kind of eat. Yeah. So what you might see over here um, is where I'm going to put it. So what I did earlier was I um, did the leaves, prepped the leaves got them nice and, and clean. Um, got them nice and clean and ready to go. 
And so that's what's over here. We have um, aluminum foil, which is what we're gonna wrap them in. Some people will put them in um, paper and then twine and do all of that. Um, that's what that's what this is. So you don't. Um, I prefer this because one, you can see what it looks like. Um, you can tell by the color of the aluminum foil that it's ready. I don't, and they store better. If you are um, putting them in the freezer for a while, this stores better. My mom brought me a napkin so I can go ahead and clear my hands off, which is great because I needed it. Okay, I think this is good, Mom. La masa está bien. Now, we'll put a chote on the leaf. Mm -hmm. leaf just like, like this. Mm-hmm. Masa, carne. Carne. You know what it means, your meat. Yep, that's what I'm getting ready to do. <laughs> okay. So, my meat is here, my masa is here. The oil is here, the leaf is here on the on the uh, aluminum foil, and then I'm going to move it to the side. Mm -hmm. And that is the process of putting everything together. So, what was I thinking? Putting this on like this. Takes a while to get a box. Okay. There we go. All right, kids. And look at that meat. Ooh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and stir that up. Okay, I like a little meat with my pasteles. This is going to be delicious. Okay. Not and I know Casey. Now I've seen people make this oil and have it ready to go in like a really neat um, vessel. You're welcome to do that. Um, it's nice to have it. But to be honest, it's not really needed at all. But it is good to have it ready. I have never graduated to wrapping. This will be my first time wrapping. Um, I usually am only allowed to burn the leaves. So I'm just going to put one nice big spoon in here. I can put more than that. Maybe two spoons? The masa. Okay. My mom went out for just a moment, but to be honest, I don't know if this is how she's gonna do it. But you know what? These are my pasteles. I can do however I like it. So we're gonna do it my way. Carne. Do gen a generous amount of meat. Look at that. Oh, baby. That's nice. I like the meat to go all the way to the end. You know, what happens is people roll their stuff and then your meat is like in the middle and it's not in the ends. Okay. If I can remember correctly, my mom said. Do here is create this seal 
so that the water doesn't get in here when you are cooking them. And then you're going to go like this, squeeze them in to get everything back in here. Okay, and then you're going to take these and you're going to fold it. I believe. So this isn't how they're supposed to look. This is actually kind of ugly. It should be thinner, but I'm gonna be honest, it's gonna be, this is as good as it's gonna get because these are Titi Angie style. And Titi Angie is gonna roll them like this. That's probably why I was never allowed to roll growing up. But that is a pastele. We are going to finish rolling these and assembling, and then we're gonna boil these up. They're gonna boil for about 45 minutes, or um, when this outside turns like a gray color. And then what you do is you cut the bottom off, slide them on your plate, and enjoy your pastele. That is a TT Angie style pastele. It's super unattractive. Like I said, usually they're half the size, <laughs> but this is what you get today. But that's the basic wrap that you're gonna do. All right, thank you so much. It's been fun doing this. I've learned a lot. My mom has taught me a lot. So I hope you enjoy them. This is your own experience. When you make a pastela, this is your own experience. You own it and do it the way you like it. That's what I'm gonna do. So. Whether nobody likes the way they look, I know they're gonna taste good because this is my mom's recipe. This is her sofrito that I used at the beginning to make this meat. This is her carne, how she, shop, she showed me how to chop it up. This is the masa that she showed me how to make and the um, anote or achote oil that I'm gonna use on this and that I use inside the masa and how to create and burn these leaves or how to clean the leaves and make them more pliable so that you can do stuff like this. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed it. It was a great learning experience for me, and I'm happy that I was able to share this with you. So thank you so much for everything. 